Good morning. This is Alex Marienthal on January 22nd, 2021 with your weekly snowpack conditions update for the mountains near Cook City. Well, about 10 days ago, a layer of weak feathery surface hoar formed on the surface of some slopes near Cook City and it was subsequently buried by six inches to 12 inches of snow and it is about a half foot to a foot and a half deep. You can see it if you dig down as a kind of a gray stripe in your snow pit. Earlier this week, there were a few snowmobile and, and skier triggered avalanches out near Goose Lake uh, that may have failed on this layer. And we also have a deeper buried weak layer of sugary facets that's two to three feet deep on some slopes. And two weeks ago, skiers triggered this avalanche on the fin on Mount Republic just outside of town. Three of them were caught and one needed to be evacuated by helicopter due to serious injuries. Um, you can find more about that accident if you go to our website to the accident reports tab there. Um, so this week we have received about 12 inches of snow over the last week, almost equal to an inch of snow water equivalent. So not a ton of weight over, over that period of time. It's a pretty, pretty gradual load. But some slopes have these weak layers of surface hoar and facets buried and an unstable snowpack. So human triggered avalanches are possible and the danger is rated moderate this weekend. Tonight, we might get an inch of snow before we see clear, cold and calm weather for the next few days. Wind should be pretty light out of the west. So be cautious of wind loaded slopes where you see big pillows of snow near ridge lines or if the winds do pick up and you see blowing and drifting snow, that's a sign that these wind loaded slopes have stability decreasing. Um, before you ride steep slopes, dig a quick snow pit to look for those buried weak layers of surface hoar and facets and avoid steep slopes where you suspect these buried weak layers. Again, danger is moderate this week weekend due to buried weak layers on some slopes. Um, they are not on every slope, so that makes it a little tricky, but it does mean there are some steeper slopes that may be okay to ride. Make sure to check the forecast every day and every day before you head out to ride at mtavalanche.com to get all the updates and only expose one person at a time to steep avalanche terrain. Make sure everyone in your group has an avalanche transceiver shovel and probe and knows how to use it. Thanks for listening this week. We'll be back next Friday with another update. Have a fun and safe weekend.